it's the dream of every scientist to do something that would be beneficial to mankind. Our dream was to develop a drug for Parkinson's disease. And in fact, it took 20 years and our dream came true. We are trying to develop drugs for neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. I was educated at McGill University in Montreal and in 1977 I was invited to come to the Technion to set up the Department of Pharmacology. I decided that if I come I would like to develop a drug for Parkinson's disease and as a consequence together with Professor John Finberg we have developed a drug called Trasagilin or Azilect for Parkinson's disease which we collaborated together with Teva Pharmaceutical for 20 years this drug has now been approved in 56 countries and it's a very interesting drug because it's the first drug that may have a disease modifying. That means it has neuroprotective and may slow down the progression of Parkinson's disease. It's received a lot of publicity because it's the first of its kind in the world. Alzheimer's disease is a far more complex disorder than other neurodegenerative diseases. And subjects with Alzheimer's disease may also suffer from Parkinsonism as well as depression. We have now developed a drug that's called Latostigil. It also has what we call neuroprotective activity as shown in our studies in the laboratory. We think that this drug will be superior to any drug that is available on the market for treatment of Alzheimer's disease. One of the aspects of the neurodegenerative diseases is that we don't really know how neurons die. One of the interesting things that we've discovered here with Dr. Sylvia Mandel is what we have identified in green tea called a polyphenol. And this polyphenol has antioxidant activity and there's been a significant amount of work on this polyphenol especially from our center showing that this polyphenol actually has neuroprotective both in Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease and it seems that in Parkinson's disease this green tea polyphenol really does have anti-Parkinson activity so we are very much excited about this one of the problems with the central nervous system of Parkinsonian or the Alzheimer patient is that when the neurons die, they cannot regenerate. So our objective has been to develop drugs that would be called neurorestorative. Can we reverse the disease by making the neurons that have died or dying to grow back again? And that's what's known as neurorestoration. In three models of Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, we have shown that they can really reverse the, the problem. The other approach is, of course, using stem cells. And one of the things that we have discovered about these new drugs, these neurorestorative drugs that we've developed, that they can convert 85% of embryonic stem cells into neurons. We think this is the future approach for the neurodegenerative diseases to do a combined treatment of stem cells plus drug treatment. So we are much excited. We think these drugs are third generation beyond rasagilin and beyond ladostigil. Our research at Technion has opened up a new promise for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. We are driven by the belief that our drugs can reclaim the quality of life for millions of patients. <music>